the creator of this wonderful piece of artwork. And that focuses on fighting budget cuts. And so she's here to tell us more about that. Here's Steve Fisher. Hello, you gorgeous hussies. This has been a fabulous day. Aren't you glad that you came? I am so freaking delighted and thankful that the slut walk organizers brought us here today to send out an extremely important message. Victim blaming is a pressing issue for everyone, women, men, young, old, straight, queer, but in particular for women of color like myself. Women of color are much more vulnerable to sexual assault and sexual assault against women of color is treated as less significant. So the hell with woman haters like Fred Phelps, the entire Westboro Baptist Church, and everyone else who shares their extremely twisted conviction, my wardrobe, my sexual self-expression, and my biological self-determination, and my skin color, are not an invitation for rape and harassment. <laughs> Darn, I can't help but hate the fact that we are having to gather here today for this purpose. It's outrageous that we are still having to protest for our right to control our bodies in the year 2011. <laughs> Something. The York University incident, which sparked this international slut walk movement, is not isolated at all. All across the country, all across the world, there is a huge war against women that is raging, and sexual assault is just one component of that war. The right wing is hell-bent on taking away abortion rights and women's access to birth control. While also taking funding away from prenatal care and other women's health care programs. Yeah. Not only that, but these budget cuts that our legislators are imposing left and right hurt women the most because we still earn significantly less than men, especially women of color. Fuck that! Fuck that. Yeah. Our legislators, both Republicans and Democrats, even President Obama, give us the rhetoric that there is not enough money to fund critical public programs, but there is a bottomless pit of dollars for bank bailouts, corporate tax giveaways, and wars in the Middle East and Africa, where, by the way, the sexual assault of our own service women and women of other countries is rampant. Yeah. Well, I'm so sick and tired of this fucked up system that prioritizes corporate profit over women's rights. And I'm so friggin' thirsty for a strong grassroots feminist movement to shake things up over here! And if you're not Bill Gates or one of his fellow millionaires, 
you ought to be tired of the system too, regardless of your gender, age, skin color, immigration status, because you know what? It is the same system that is screwing us all over. It is the same system that fills our jails with people of color. It is the same system that is assaulting the rights of lesbians, gays, bisexuals, the trans and intersex communities. It is the same system that is undermining public employees and labor unions forcing poor workers in other countries to migrate illegally because of atrocious U.S. foreign policies. Yeah. It is the same system that is destroying our public schools, our health care, and our environment all for the sake of profit. Yeah. We don't have to settle for this crap because we deserve something better. Yeah. Together, we have the power to eliminate the system of oppression and create a world based on cooperation and human rights. And you all are already exercising that power by coming here today. And I really, really hope that when this event is done and over with, you will continue to be involved. I'm telling you, there is not a more urgent time to fight back. It's looking worse and worse out there. And this really is a crucial time to build for a women's, up women's uprising. Yeah. Women have always been at the forefront of change and today the movement needs our bold, brazen voices. There are plenty of groups to be active with and I hope that you will check them out. I especially hope that you check out my group Radical Women at RadicalWomen.org. Radical Women is socialist feminist. That means we believe that capitalist, capitalism is the root of the oppressions that we are facing. White people are not the problem. Men are not the problem. So please know this. You do not have to have a vagina to be a feminist. hairy legs to be a feminist. <laughs> you can be straight or queer. A feminist is someone who looks just like you. Feminism is not about style or body hair or who you love. It's about fighting for every person's right to be themselves. It's about fighting for every person's human rights. It's not about being divisive or separatist. It's not about hoarding slices of the pie. Rather, it's about fighting for the fucking pie to get bigger. So let's try this. Let's try this. Show 